Well, good evening everyone. Welcome to after dinner. Pipe and coffee. Smoking some McBarron's Seven Seas Red Blend in my general. Yes, that's a six millimeter filter in there. And some high octane, just black. Heck of a day. Sending me out in a storm tomorrow. Sad part is, is I'll be coming home in it. That's not good. So, keep me in your prayers. Here's what it is. Got a second pipe loaded. <laughs> On Boswell. Because, uh, I'm in a smoking mood tonight. Picked up some GLPs, Chelsea, early morning. That came in the mail yesterday, too. I smoked that last night. Before I went to bed. And, uh... That reminded me of Dunhill's early morning. Go figure. Still good. And by the way, that three and a half tin, three and a half ounce tin of uh, McBarron's gave you the wrong price. I paid eight ninety five for it. It's a lot of tobacco for eight ninety five, and it's good. It's good tobacco. Smoke, I'll, I'll smoke it. I'm gonna try their other ones. Their seven C's. I guess I'm told that it's their, their Seven Seas series is the uh, answer to the Captain Black. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? I, I smoke because I like smoking. If it's good, I'll smoke it. Got a little bit of an attitude tonight. There we go again, blurry. And tell you what, we're going to turn that camera and get that light shining in. Yeah, I got a little bit of an attitude tonight. Hey, thank you very much for all the comments and the suggestions from this afternoon's uh, video. Some of you have mentioned things or suggestions from some things in there that I was already thinking about. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do something like that. Um, just want to add, you know, I just had the pipe and coffee. I want to do something more. And somebody had a great, uh, great suggestion. And it's something I've thought about for a long time. 
if if you're about my age, you remember a guy named Charles Corolt. He was from CBS Sunday Morning, and he did Charles Charles Corolt traveled and did stories across America. He's he's since died, but it was a great series that he did, and I actually. Listen to it on cassette. When I drove my car, it was called Charles Corolt's America. It was really cool. Yeah, I dream of doing something like that. I'd love to do something like that. But that takes money. And uh, if I was getting paid to do this for a living, it would be one of, it would be a thing. It would be, Let's just say it would get done. So I'm working out the particulars on their stuff. It's hard for me to video in my truck because I work for a company. And uh, I have to maintain the company's uh, anonymity um, for legal reasons. And when I do my videos, when I'm in the truck, I'm on a 30-minute break. So I'm off the clock. I don't do anything on the clock. But, uh... If I could do this full-time... I would love to do one. <clears throat> I would love to do a series of videos called What's Your Story and visit people. You know, someone suggested about going and, and having pipe sessions with different uh, YTPC members. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Uh, that's in the works to keep doing that. This thing keeps going in and out of focus. And I apologize. I don't know what is up with it today. Let me move that in. So. I might throw a survey out there. I'll do that with another video at another time. Yeah, I want to bring you guys more. I want to, I want to, I want to bring you more because I've been so blessed, and I've been having so much fun doing this. I, I, I really like to uh, I would really like to do more for you. So I work on some things. It's just it costs money. Um, one twenty-minute video. I figured it out, and I didn't say it today earlier but one 20 minute video is about three to four hours of my time so between editing um, reshooting uh, multiple takes you know you have to do setting things up pulling together now in the evening for the most part I think about what I want to say during the day but that means I'm working on what I want to say when I'm out during the day that way this evening I have something at least I can talk about like tonight, I have a topic. So, but enough said. We take almost ten minutes of that. Here's my question. <sighs> Not at anybody in particular. On the YTPC. What the hell do you think you're entitled to? I don't mean to swear. So uh, I, I apologize if I offended anybody with that word. We've had a generation 
uh, right now that has the attitude of entitlement. Nobody ever handed me anything. Ever. My father always taught us, if you want it, earn it. You want respect, earn it. You want to be rewarded for a good job, earn it. You want to win that baseball game, earn it. You want to buy a nice car, live in a nice house, have nice things, earn them. I'm so sick of our society with this sense of entitlement. I've had enough. And if you're watching this and I'm offending you, change the channel. Because I'm tired of it. I worked hard to get where I am today. It took me 20 years, 20 years to get where I am today. Before I had to work for 20 years to do this, I was living a comfortable lifestyle. Because in a few short years, from the time I graduated high school to about the time at 26, 27 years old, I busted my hump. I could go out and spend $500 like that and not think about it. And I did it. I owned a house before I was 25. I was remodeling that house piece by piece. I earned it. I worked hard. I was married, had three little boys, two toddlers and an infant. And then due to circumstances beyond my control, in the great state of Pennsylvania, in an instant, I was thrust into a poverty level lifestyle. I ate a lot of bologna sandwiches. I ate a lot of cereal. I had a box for a table. I had a recliner. I had a bed and I had the clothes on my back and what I could fit in, in my small little apartment. And I worked hard and dug myself out. And it took me 20 years. 20 years. And I ain't blaming anybody but myself. You know why? I married her. Am I bitter? No. Am I angry? I'm angry at those who want a handout. I'll give you a hand up, but I will not give you a handout. And when I give you a hand up, I expect you to pay it forward. I'm going to hold you accountable to that. I do that with my kids. I do that with myself. Listen, too much is given, much is expected, right? I'm not a rich man, far from a rich man. But my wife and I realized that God has blessed us so much. We pay it forward. I'm not bragging. That's not the point. The point is If we don't do something to change how society is teaching our children while they're in school, this country's screwed. And that's not getting political, that's getting personal. 
There are three things we are entitled to in this country. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Happiness is not handed to you. It's called the pursuit of happiness. You get off your lazy butt and pursue it. Instead, we call these material things, we, we, how much material things we have is what makes us happy. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. Uh, I don't know how you measure happiness. I don't measure it by how much money is in my bank account. Although, we're, we're to be fiscally responsible. We're supposed to be good stewards with our money. I'm not happy based on where I live, the house I live in, the car I drive, the person I'm in love with. I don't, I don't, I don't know where we got off track with, you know considering it happiness is based on material things uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from but that's not what our forefathers meant and didn't mean to spew off there but I'll tell you what I've about had it I've about had it. Um, River Rat said something the other day. Last week, I think. Excuse me. About he has a small circle of friends. And most of the time, he just likes to be left alone. Uh, <laughs> I used to love being around a lot of people. That one time. You know, I loved going to places where there was a lot of people hanging out. Can't do it anymore, man. I'm losing my faith in 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 human in human beings and mankind. Second pipe. See, I told you, it was two two pipe night. I'm losing my faith in mankind. Um, I love people, and I will give a shirt off my back for someone in need. I'll tell you what. So I move this again so we can get better picture. Sorry about that. Like I said, those that know me, I'm a compassionate man. I'm a very compassionate man. And I'm a patient man. But I'm losing my patience. <laughs> you know, I said to my wife the other day, I just want to buy a house with some land, move out there. And be done with it. I don't want neighbors on top of me. I love my neighbors. They're good people. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, I like. I, I find solace in being alone. You know, I mean, I like. I like being alone. I like being around my family more than anything. But I like my me time. Just difficult some days, you know. Um, it's 
demanding. And I'm in a position where I'm in front of the camera and, and uh, I say things that people take to heart and that people take as advice. And I never want to steer you wrong if you're doing that. Just know this, my heart's in the right place. Uh, I'm a very loving person. Um, but I'm a happy guy with my Bible. And my family. And my pipes. But I want to help people. I've always been in that position to where I've always helped people. It started at a young age. And then I grew up and uh, grew up to be, uh, I was an EMT and a firefighter. My whole life's been dedicated to helping others. Serving. Serving. Just, uh, it's very rewarding. I don't look for anything. I don't look for accolades. I don't look for a pat on the back. I just want to, I want to serve people and I want to help people. That's what I'm all about. That's what everybody should be about. If we were more concerned about serving others, man country would be so much better off this whole world would be better off and I love my country don't get me wrong I'm a true patriot I'm true blue red white and blue. I'm red white and blue man I'm an American I don't apologize for that but uh, anyhow So, there it is. I'll tell you what, this McBaron's is really good in this Boswell pipe. It's a good, good taste of it. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, folks, listen. Love you all. Thank you all for the look without, without all you people watching. You people. Sounds so impersonal. Sorry about that. Without, you, without all you folks watching, uh, the Bearded Welshman wouldn't be the Bearded Welshman. I'd just be John. I appreciate your time. I'm going to fire this bad boy up. Finish smoking. Smoking. That's a town up by Mount Carmel. Smoking. Peddler Piper, we get that. Coffee's all done. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. It's going to be a long day. going to be a late night. So I don't know if I'll get the pipe and coffee in. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, folks. All I know is when I come back, it's going to be nasty weather coming back down out of New York. So uh, I'm not too thrilled about it. But it is what it is. So I appreciate your prayers. Or your thoughts. And I'll see you all tomorrow night. More good. Light them up.